Hi everyone, I'm Jess Beautician and welcome back to a new Mr. Organic video. Today I'm sharing a recipe for some smoky red pepper and mixed bean sausages. First, take a red onion and finely dice that up. Take three cloves of garlic next, peel and crush them. Then take a long sweet red pepper, trim the ends, remove the seeds and then finely dice that up too. Take Mr Organic's extra virgin olive oil and drizzle around a tablespoon of that into a frying pan on a medium heat. Once warm, add in the red onion and fry it off until soft. Add in the garlic next and the red pepper and continue to sweat those down. Next, add in three tablespoons of smoked paprika, one tablespoon of regular paprika, one tablespoon of fresh thyme, a tablespoon of chopped fresh rosemary, a teaspoon of ground fennel seeds, a small pinch of dried chili flakes, a good pinch of sea salt or celery salt, then a tablespoon of tomato puree. Give everything a good mix together and continue to fry that off for another couple of minutes and then leave it to cool. Take a can each of Mr. Organic's organic aduki beans and organic red kidney beans. Drain off the liquid and then give them a really good rinse under running water. Then drain them off again and shake well. Place them out on a clean tea towel next and just give them a very gentle pat to ensure they're as dry as possible. Next, take a mixing bowl, add in the aduki beans and the red kidney beans, along with a quarter of a cup of rice flour, followed by three tablespoons of breadcrumbs. Then take the onion and pepper mixture once cool and add that into the bowl as well. Give it all a really good season with some sea salt and cracked black pepper, around a teaspoon of each. Take a fork or potato masher and mash the mixture up until the beans have broken down and it's all well combined and comes together. Roughly divide the mixture into eight and then one at a time form the sausage shapes by rolling the mixture between the palms of your hands. Take each formed sausage and roll it firstly in either clean cheesecloth or parchment paper, ensuring they're rolled up as tightly as possible. Then place that on a square of tin foil and roll it up tightly again. Then twist the ends to make sure it's well secure. Fill a shallow pan with a little boiling water, then place in the sausages. The opening to the tin foil should be facing up and the water level should be just below the opening so that no water can get in. Once you've placed all of the sausages in the boiling water, cover it with a lid and leave to boil for 20 minutes. Remove the sausages from the pan once done and unwrap them from the tin foil and the cheesecloth or parchment paper carefully. The sausages should be looking a little something like this and they're then ready to fry. Drizzle a couple of tablespoons of olive oil in a large griddle pan and once warm, place the sausages in. Don't overcrowd the pan, so four or five at a time works best. Brush the sausages all over with the oil that's in the base of the pan and keep them turning continuously so that they don't catch and they grill evenly all over cooking them for around eight to 10 minutes in total. These smoky red pepper and bean sausages are great served with some roasted vegetables. Here I serve them with some roasted potato wedges, some more roasted red pepper, red onion and also some cherry tomatoes on the vine. I paired the sausages with those and I also then took some of Mr Organic's Italian sun-dried tomato pesto to have with them. 
I just dotted that on top of the vegetables and this organic pesto is also vegan and a beautiful blend of sun-dried tomatoes, creamy tofu and fragrant basil and it just works perfectly with all of the other flavours. I also added on some green leaves as well as some lightly toasted pine nuts. These sausages have a wonderful smoky flavour from the smoked paprika. Then there's so many other flavours and they get their great texture from the Mr. Organic Aduki and red kidney beans. Alternatively though, you can switch up whichever Mr. Organic organic beans you'd like to use for this recipe. Cannellini beans also work great for this as well. This recipe is a really great way to use beans differently and it shows just how versatile beans can really be. 